Welcome to Open Mic Night. Give it up for your host and MC, Michael Blank. What up, baby? We are at the airport. Fourth day on the road. I'm about to head to Los Angeles. I went there one time when I was a little kid, but I don't really remember shit, so I'm excited to go back, dude. I'm staying with my friend, Paulo. I should probably text him and remind him that I'm coming. I am at the airport really fucking early. I got about two hours until my flight, so I'm gonna go try and find some food to eat. Okay, guys, I decided to eat at the Eddie George Bar and Grill. That's right, famous Ohio State football player, Heisman winner. I'm eating at his freaking bar and grill in the Columbus airport. All right, boys, my food just arrived. Let's see what Eddie did today. We got the Eddie burger. It looks pretty good, dude, pretty thick. I ordered it medium rare. Let's see if it is truly medium rare. Yo, that shit slaps. Thank you, Eddie. You killed it, bro. All right, guys, I'm about to board the plane. We're flying Spirit Airlines today. I'll see you fuckers on the other side of America. Boys, I made a huge fucking mistake. I fucked up big time. I missed my flight. I don't know how, but I might have gone to the wrong gate. I might have gotten the departure time and the boarding time mixed up. I might have done both of those things, but either way, I fucked up and I'm a goddamn idiot. It fucking sucks, dude. My boy already called in sick to pick me up from the airport too, so he just took off work and I'm not even gonna be there, so fucking, it sucks, dude. I don't know what to do now. The next flight isn't until tomorrow at the same time. Am I even allowed to leave the airport? I don't even know how it works. I feel so stupid, dude. This is a devastating blow and uh, I don't know what to do. I don't want to call my friend Josh and be like, hey Josh, can I actually stay with you for another night? Whatever, dude, I'll figure it out. So somebody told me I could do a show on Sunday, but I told him I was going to be out of town. But surprise, surprise, I'm still here. So I hit him up, my boy Rob. He's going to come pick me up from the airport and we're going to go do the show. He's going to let me do 10 minutes and uh, not bad, dude. It's a real show. The tickets are $15. Should be a lot of fun. Really nice guy for coming and picking me up. Now all I have to do is find a place to stay tonight. So after I get to the show, I'm gonna ask him if I can sleep at his house probably. So we'll see how that goes, bro. <laughs> all right, boys, well, we're about to go to the fucking show. Yo, my boy Rob Pangorn. Is that how you say it? Pangorn. Born. Pang Pang. Yo, my boy Rob Pangborn in the house. He picked me up from the airport, shout out. He's cleaning out the car. He's got a couple more comics he's gotta pick up life right there yeah he organized this entire show so shout out yo we in the green room right now pretty nice green room it is yeah it's actually green as well yeah yeah it is kind of green in here and this dude's from fucking denmark and europe been, or you grew up in britain yeah 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 and then i've lived in denmark the last six years doing comedy yeah yeah that's At crazy all who's comedy albert's is the bar albert's yeah shout right. out yeah and this is anders what country are you from again denmark Denmark. He's actually, actually, actually yeah. Denmark. <laughs> Respect. I want to show the club I'm a little sure bit. Club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he just said the N word in a foreign language. <laughs> Yo, it is a legitimate comedy club, though. So that is good. I didn't know what to expect. It's a little bit on the smaller side, so hopefully we can fill it up. And I do have one fan from the Instagram who said he was going to pull up. Shout out Ben Garcia. A minor FCG. Oh, perfect. That's my yeah. We got the club owner here saying, so like, you need to sit down here. Shout out to the no, club I, owner. No, no, I'll stand. <laughs> I'm not even. Well, I was walking down the street just thinking I seen something funny. So I wrote it down, thought I'd do it on Friday night for some money. Turns out open mic is a free show and no one gets paid. <laughs> so maybe if my joke lands, I might just get laid. Hey! Did you get laid? Did you get laid? Did you get laid? Did you, get laid from did you comedy? Did you get laid from comedy? I got laid one time and she was sexy. Then she took me home and she had three kids.
kids and they listen to me doing doggy doing missionary with the mummy 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 did you get laid from comedy did you get laid from comedy well, did you get laid from comedy i did get laid from comedy it was your mom, she <laughs> fucked me, and then I peed on her face, and then uh, she licked it up. I, I got <laughs> fucked up, bro. Yo, I can't compete with that guitar comic, dude. That That's fire. Yo, the name of the show is Open Mic Night, so the fact that you were singing about Open Mic Night... Is this show called Open Mic Nights? Yeah, it's like a play on, a play on my name. It's Mike. Because so. your name's Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I Thanks, love dude. open mics around America, genuinely. Like, oh, dude. such an interesting concept to me. Yeah, yeah. Do you like them? Oh, I love them. I live and breathe open mic. Uh, I mean, they're all right. They can get really shitty, bro. Yeah. But that's kind of the beauty of them at the same time. What's the beauty of that? You know, going up there and bombing in front of nobody. Something. Like that. <laughs> How do you bomb in front of nobody? Yeah, but, uh, How do you not bomb in front of nobody? <laughs> yeah, that's my... Yeah, okay. Does a tree make a sound in the forest when it falls? I'm not to hear it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if there's no one there to watch, is it really bombing? Is it really bombing? <laughs> <laughs> That's deep, bro. Are you guys ready for your next comic tonight? Yeah. The next comic is very, very special. He's come all the way from Kansas City, Missouri to grace it with his friends tonight. Please give it up for Michael Blank. Yo, dude, we just did the show. Ah, I fucking bombed, dude. I fucking bombed. Any kind of maybe... Any kind of confidence that I built up, any kind of ego that I built up over the Don't Tell shows, that just decimated it. It was a tough room, dude. Everyone was bombing before me, low-key, even though it kind of did fill up in there. Hopefully the people after me do better, but it was bad, dude. I told the same jokes that I've been telling, and they've just, they were just bombing, dude. It was hard. Like it's, it's too bright in there. It's really bright. I was really distracted. I was like, there are people moving around in the back. I started off by making fun of the venue, or... Take one bite, everybody knows the rules. Yeah, one bite, everyone knows the rules. Fucking asshole. That's, I started off trying to riff on the venue. It's called the Hashtag Comedy Club, so I made fun of that. The Hashtag Comedy Company. I don't think they know how hashtags work. <laughs> made some jokes about missing my flight today. Yo, I was supposed to be on a plane right now to go to L.A., but I missed it. This is cool too though, this is cool. I was hoping that the plane would get in a crash and I would be like, yes, it was a miracle that I missed my flight. But they all made it, unfortunately. And then I had a fan come to the show, shout out Ben Garcia. So I went over and I shook his hand as like kind of a joke, but people didn't think it was that funny. Yo, is uh, Ben Garcia here by the way? Yeah. Yo, this is my fan. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for coming, dude. I think I'm the first guy more excited to see my fan than he is to see me. <laughs> He's pumped. And uh, then I just kind of went into my jokes. My opener did decent. I was bullied a lot growing up. I was called autistic. It was mainly by this one guy. His name was Brad. He was my doctor. <laughs> and uh, some of my jokes bombed for real. Even my closer was bombing, so I didn't even close on it. I ended up closing by talking about my lisp. I threw that one in there. She's like, no, it's going to hold you back your whole life. I'm like, it's not like I'm going to be a fucking public speaker one day. I think I'll be okay. Now, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you to the Hashtag Comedy Club. My name is Michael Blank. Give it up for Rob. They said if I did really bad, they were going to bring on a guitar guy after me to bring up the room, which is kind of a funny thing to tell me. And they did not bring out the guitar guy, so I think I'm good. They said if I do bad tonight, then Rob's gonna come play the guitar. So that's a cool insurance policy. But I made some jokes how they're probably gonna have to bring out the guitar guy. I think they're probably gonna have to play the guitar after this one. <laughs> I think you guys might get serenaded after this. Oh yeah, and, and some guy's phone went off in the middle of my set. So I was like, I was honestly stalling because I forgot what I was gonna say next. But the phone rang for a long time, dude. It's okay, you can take that. <laughs> Let me hear. No, we can wait. <laughs> it's fine, guys. This happens all the time. Oh, uh, yeah, bitches, dude. I, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> that was the set tonight. Got out of here on a nice little bomb. 
I'm glad I could stay in Columbus one more day just to eat shit. If you guys want to see the joke that bombed the hardest, I'll show you the one. I told the one about heterosexual directions. One time I was giving this guy directions, and I was like, you're going to want to go straight down 8th Street. But he cut me off. He's like, you're not supposed to say go straight because straight means heterosexual. So you're not supposed to say that. I didn't know that. I was like, let me try again. You're going to want to go heterosexual down 8th Street. And then you're going to homosexual right at the stop sign. And you should be there. That shit bombed. I think I just wasn't, I was distracted when I was telling it. I did not get him. I did not. He thinks I was filming him. Some douchebag on a motorcycle thinks I was filming him. Yeah, that was the set tonight. I'm, I'm uh, grateful for the opportunity. Also, I'm, I hope I get paid. Like, I, I kind of don't expect to get paid. I wasn't expecting it, but if he threw me a couple bucks, that would be chill. Also, I'm about to sign my name on the door, because apparently if you perform here, you get to sign your name up there. It's a tough show, dude. I, I know I should blame myself, but six o'clock Sunday show, that's tough, dude. When everyone's bombing before you, that's tough too. Whatever, bro. That's pretty dope I had a fan show up. You know, I should get paid. I sold tickets, bro. Apparently there's gonna be an after party, and uh, I found a place to stay. My boy uh, Rob from Britain is gonna let me stay with him. So we're gonna have a good night now, and we're gonna shake off the bomb. Yo, show just got over, headliner getting off stage. He did a good fucking job, which just proved that I could have done a good job if I was funnier. I'm glad the show went good in the end though. The fans got some good laughs. Hey, good job, dude, you killed it. Thanks, man. All right, I'm about to sign this fucking door. Will you guys come out to take a photo real quick? Sure. Oh, we gotta take a photo real quick. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy. <laughs> It's your boy Skinny Penis? That was Rob. Skinny Penis. <laughs> yeah, it's Rob Skinny Penis is what we call him. All right, guys, I'm about to sign my the fucking door, leave my mark. As you can tell, it's a really fucking new club by the amount of signatures up here. It's only been open for what, six months? All right, shit, where do I put it? Right here. Thank you. If you ever come to this green room, check out my signature, motherfucker. You saw where I put it. Yo, what up, motherfuckers? I'm passing out at my boy TJ's house. He was on the show tonight. I'm super fucked up right now, but you know, everyone in Columbus has been super nice to me, bro. Tomorrow night, I mean tomorrow, I'm for sure going to make my airplane ride. No shot I miss it tomorrow. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So I'm definitely going to make my airplane ride tomorrow. You know, my time in Columbus has been great. People really like to play pool out here. I've gone to multiple pool halls since I've been here. People like to shoot some fucking pool. Everyone's been so fucking nice to me. Shout out Columbus. It's been a hell of a time. It's been a good time, dude. I'll see you fuckers tomorrow at the airport where I'm gonna make my flight. Peace out, bitch. Yo, we on the way back to the airport. Show was crazy. We went out afterwards, got fucked. Fucking Rob got kicked out of the bar last night, dude. So did you. <laughs> yeah, I got cut off. I left after I got cut off. It's different. I didn't even drink at the bar. Got kicked out. <laughs> yeah, he got kicked out because he was throwing up in the bathroom. They didn't like that. Okay, guys, I'm back in the airport exactly where this episode started. It's been a crazy 24 hours. I'm ready to go to L.A. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. Peace out.